You know what, Stephen? You know what? Sometimes, you know, I just gotta tell you one thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not trying to be cocky or anything. Yeah. Look at it. <laughs> you just, Molly, you gonna take that? You know what I'm saying? Sam, I'm a true you know what duelist. You're, you're, fucking, you're fucking sheep, bro. Wait, what? You're just a sheep. So who's a better duelist? Me. Listen, okay, listen, okay, okay, listen, let's take this one, okay. <laughs> I don't think Milan knows how to know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, I don't, I don't think, like, he doesn't know how to play. Like, if, he just, he's a capper. He just lies. Like, look at him, look at him, look at this loser. Sam, Holy. shut the fuck up. I don't, I don't see anybody uglier than you. Holy bitch, shit. Come, come over here. Let me wow, if, bro, if I look in the dictionary, I look, I search the word ugly, you're there. Holy. <laughs> Stop. You're hurting me. You're hurting me. What? All right, five bucks. Five bucks. I can't afford that. You know I can't afford that, Sam. Fine. All right. A dollar. One dollar. Let's do Let's it. go. <laughs> Yo, baby. What do you mean? What do you mean shake my hand, bro? This is a fucking grudge match. Let's duel. Holy. Did you have a girlfriend before this? No. You never had a girlfriend, right? No. I knew it. Holy. I've never felt a woman's touch, actually. Really? No. Oh, shit. Are you, being, are, are you being for real? Yeah. Holy shit. I love you, bro. It's okay, man. Friendly banter with the boys. Let's go. This is the grudge match. Team Samurai versus Milano the Duelist. Who's going to win? And you know how it gets with the boys. Testosterone rising. Victory imminent. There's going to be a little shit talk with the boys. Everyone knows this. But everyone also knows it's just friendly banter with the homies. So let's see who is the second best Duel Knight player in the world after the obvious best Duel Knight player in the world, the commentator. Here we got... Splite with Beckoning Beast Engine, which Sam is playing, against Milano Strategy, which Milano is playing none other than Numerons. So Milano is coming at us here. Milano is coming at us here with a rogue strategy, which he truly believes is an insane deck. So let's see how this is gonna turn out. They're they're still talking, they're still gnawing at each other. There's in fact I could tell you what they're saying. They're saying pen best deck, pen best deck. But they're also saying that each other's deck sucks. So it's going to be, oh, the lightning storm comes down. Will it totally negate this? I mean, it has to negate this. So this is going, what's going to happen here? You know what? I have a great idea. Oh, three, never mind. Now. Milano break. Game one is over. I'm going to send it back to you guys where you guys can hear the in-game shit talk. Bro, I fucking Look. drew triple network and memories really? of whole. Right, you, Honestly, I need one more spell bait. Blah, 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 blah. That's all I hear right now. Blah, blah, blah. Uh oh, it's getting spicy out here, boys. Through the word ugly, your face pops up. Your, your shitty memories of hope, motherfucker. <laughs> your deck is silly <laughs> shit. Bro, prepare your yeah. fucking deck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blah, blah. That's all you mean. Exciting? No, you know what? I decided against you. You know why? Because you're fucking blah, blah. That's, you know what? I'm going to change, change our do night chat to blah, blah. To Milano. Because you're a waste. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, shit. No, I'm just joking, you old guy. Sorry. I'm just joking. Don't no, cry. No, no, Don't cry. Don't cry, my love. Don't cry. Milano. Yo, Milano, Milano, don't cry, Milano. Milano. Not Guys, I'm sorry, I'm just kidding. Milano. I love you, bro. Yeah, okay. Sam. Fuck okay. you, bro. You fucking loser, bro. Playing fucking meta, bro. That's all you do, bro. You just play whatever Jesse tells you to, and then you say, okay. Oh my god, Jesse! Oh my god, Jesse! Wait, one second. Let me make sure my deck is fucking properly shuffled. What's wrong with that? Because I literally drew unplayable. Blah, blah. How was unplayable? Blah blah. I had I had I had three field spells. Me too. My hand, my hand was unplayable too. I breathed. Playable enough. Go fuck yourself. Holy man, you're like, literally. Honestly, how do you top the regionals, bro? Like you're just so ass. How is that possible? That's so pathetic, bro. Talking shit about my deck before you even seen it. Now you're gonna face the fucking wrath. Sure. Little bitch. Huh? Nice. Four thousand. <laughs> wow. Holy. Gee, Appaloosa? What a shitty deck. Sonia? That shit is Appaloosa. Ew. I was only for the gates. <laughs> oh, I love to see friendly banter with the boys. Uh, this is going to be Oppo for four with a card set and definitely lots of cards in hand here for Milano. So let's see how this is going to turn out. Yeah, In this scenario, this is how you beat Numeron, homies. This is the way to beat Numeron. Okay, I'm going to tell you guys right now. This is I know this because I took Milano's deck and played it at a, at a local, if you guys remember, at a local vlog a few weeks ago where I took Milano's Numeron deck and played it. What I learned is when Numeron, when you have a monster in the field, Numeron, it's tough for Numeron's 
to do damage. It's really tough. I learned this from the deck. But Milano has a lot of cool tricks to out his own Apaloza to allow him to go for the OTK. So this is going to be very interesting to see how he incorporates this in this match. Especially against a deck like Sprite, which will not allow a lot of these stuff because they're going to have lots of negates. So let's see if Milano could uh, manipulate the board, set it up so he could uh, set up an OTK with the, uh, his monsters. Let's see how this goes. Uh, these are the cards that uh, oh, D-Barrier oh, D -Barrier destroys no runs, but it didn't seem over there like uh, uh, he really needed the Sprite starter. It, it shows because otherwise he would have got that D-Barrier if he already had a lot of combo cards. We got a D bear. He, he imperms the Apaloza first. So the Apaloza will be at zero now, forever, actually. So this is a great uh, chance for Sam to put up some serious uh, damage here to the board. Also, it, the question has to be thought uh, do you just keep the Apple on board? Because if you could just set up a bunch of negates, if I was if I was him, I would literally just not attack. I would put everything in defense. This is what I would do. If you could set up a board here, blue, jet, get, get a bunch of plus up here. Smash it is good. Put everything in defense. Oh, puts that an attack. Get hit with offering to the doomed when he uses the effect. That is uh good for Milano because if this spike goes off, it's really bad. Here, uh that, that offering to the doom is the same thing. Oh miss he drops a mystic mind. This is a good play here. Uh, because a lot of spike players do not play uh access code talker. A lot of them do not play that card. So uh that uh, mystic mind will affect a lot of plays here. Uh in my version, I do play I do play access code, so in this scenario, the Mystic Mind wouldn't hurt me as much, but in this version, actually, uh, Sam does not play access code talker, so a Mystic Mind of one, this will actually really, really hurt even one monster in the field. You have to use Mystic Mind as a trap and not as like a deck out option, uh, so it does up to set one, this does save a few turns, that also tells me that Milano probably has double, uh, a few Mystic ways to Mystic Mind, maybe not enough defensive cards, opts to go for the Regeki, and uh this is a stalemate this is this is literally a lot of numeron matches bro this is in my experience with numeron stuff i could kind of tell here that milano needs a way to out his own apaloza uh if i was if i was sam here so i would not go go in unless so he goes for the droplets here and he does this does the droplets play here just specifically so he's able to out his own apaloza to numeron network i know this 100 percent. like i said i played this before so What's going to happen here in the grudge match? I know you guys want to hear their shit talk, but the duelists are focused. The duelists are focused. They need to win. They both want to win this duel. Uh, so the drop here negates that effect to be able to add. And uh, let's see how this is going to go. Is there a splite? A splite jet gets dropped. Uh, let's see what, how this ends up playing out. I, I could probably foretell here that Milano does have a way to number on that work because he droplet it. As he imperms the, the jet here. And uh, let's see how this is going to turn out. I see a lot of hand traps in Sam's hand. Uh, it goes special splite carrot. Puts these two into gigantic splite. If I was Sam, I was uh, happy. With, uh, you could have special the carrot before, but it, not, it doesn't really matter. Like, if the jet gets ha a hand trapped or imperm, they don't really care too much about that. What you really want to do is set up the splite elf uh, engine going on and on and on and on. Setting up the splite elf engine continuously. Oh, no, not detach the 3200, my man. You have to keep the 3200 for the more attack and detach the other one. But that's all right. That's all right. Uh, what you want to do here is just ensure that you have Splite Elf set up forever. With all these hand traps and Splite Elf regaining advantage, you just never want to lose your advantage with the Splite Elf. In fact, that is a massive bonus that hand traps offer. You can use hand traps as most, as, as most of the interruption. This is something I do enjoy about hand traps in this deck. You let the hand traps do most of the interruptions while you... Uh, make your Splite Elf give you continuous advantage to start Jet and Starter. Uh, so as long as you have continuous engine forever, you just interrupt them with your defensive cards and don't rely on the Splite engine to be inter do interruptions. He's actually not allowed to Zeus. He's actually not allowed to Zeus because he already used Gigantic Splite. So they actually both missed that there. Not that it matters because Lightning Storm is going to get dropped down very shortly. Uh, here he activates Lightning Storm and gets stopped by the Carrot. Here uh, he gets hit with the Regeki. So Zeus is gone. So I'm actually going to send you guys off to real-time duels and uh, let them take over the commentating. Hope you guys enjoy the match. See you guys in the next one. Peace. 48 or whatever. No, I'm at like um, 32. So, mm -hmm. It's my first time ever doing So, um... Oh, you already did 4K. 4K, yeah. It's all good.
I'm not that big in the play, you guys.